Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am excited to showcase to you the HS710 drone from Holy Stone. This thing has a lot of awesome features. Let's go ahead and jump in and get right into it. So the HS710 is a foldable compact drone. As you can see here, it is very easy to set up out of the box. All you have to do is just unfold these arms, and you're ready to move on. Now the camera on the HS710 is right here on the bottom and it has a 4K sensor on it so you can definitely capture great footage. Now the HS710 is a quad capter so that means it has four motors and each motor has two blades on it. Don't worry about destroying these, they send you extras. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hand controller. Up here on top you're going to have your foldable antennas. On the bottom you're going to have some grips that also fold out so you can hold it nicer. On the top here you have your joysticks that will allow you to control it going up and down, left and right. And on the front is also where you're going to have other controls such as launching and landing and return to home feature. On the top of the hand controller you're going to have this little indention right here. So what you want to do is just pull that out. And when you pull that out you might see that it needs to come out just a little bit more. And it will have this little fold down clip. This is where you're going to insert your phone. And the HS710 comes with two batteries when fully charged will give you 25 minutes of flight time each. Inserting the battery is very easy. Simply just slide it into the back, make sure it clicks, and you're good to go. So what you want to do now for the setup is you want to download Ophelia Go, which is the app that is going to allow you to control and live view the drone footage in real time. So once you go ahead and get that installed, it'll walk you through all of the steps and the processes on how to get that set up. It's super simple. Just follow the prompts and it'll tell you everything that you need to do to get this thing going. So once you've gotten this thing all the way set up, and you have the drone on, you will see a little green status bar indicator and that means we're ready to fly. So now all we need to do is just find a decently level surface to set the drone down on, which we're doing right here. As you can see, I just set it here in my grass. Don't worry about setting it there, it'll be just fine. And then what you wanna do is there's a little unlock button right here. You click that and that'll start the blades and then you hit launch. And then once you do that, as you see here, I just hit the unlock button and I hit the launch button and it takes off. So now let's go ahead and look at some footage recorded directly to my phone. So you guys might notice it seems a little bit quiet. That's because this drone does not have a built-in microphone. And even if it did, all you would really hear are the blades whishing around. It's not a very pleasant sound, so I understand why they didn't put it in here. Now, the 4K camera on this drone does a pretty good job of picking up all of the details of the surrounding houses and the colors. It looks pretty good, and for a small drone, the camera stabilization is actually pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the live view in the app mode. Right now I'm adjusting some settings. There's a lot there, so once you get yourself one of these, you'll familiarize yourself with that. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and launch it. And so you guys can kind of see all of the control features and some of the interface features that this app has. So on the bottom left, you actually are going to have a map that you can pull up and you can kind of see where you're at. On the left middle, you see the little H's. That will allow you to hit that and return to home. There's also a feature on the controller. There's also follow me mode. There's a directional mode. There's playback. There's a whole bunch of features that I think you guys will really enjoy about this drone. I've honestly been having a blast with this drone and I think you guys will too. Well guys, this was Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger checking out the HS710 drone from Holy Stone. If you guys want to check this thing out, I highly recommend it. It has a ton of cool features. It has control with just a remote or control with your phone. You can record to an SD card. You can also record directly to your phone's memory. If you guys want to check this thing out, I highly recommend it and I'll see you guys on the next video.